Hello everyone, Fletcher X here. Welcome back to Forever Stranded Lost Souls. You guys thought I gave up on the series, did you? No, we're still going strong. Uh, just took a small break to get some episodes of the Pyramid Map in. Um, yeah, so first thing I want to do is turn this orange, big orange box off <laughs> with a little redstone signal. Much easier. And the next thing we want to do is build the Industrial Squeezer, which is a multi-block that we're going to need. Um, pretty easy to build. I've got the, all the materials to make it, so let's get this going here. I'm gonna put that maybe like right, oops, that needs to go on top. Right there. Scaffling around like so. Let's see, the pipes go in the middle. Then the barrels are right there. And the redstone right there. What else? Uh, fencing goes like that. Piston goes like this. We gotta rotate it a little bit. Face down. And then we hit that block from this side. If you hit it from this side, it doesn't work. <laughs> and uh, there we go. We've got the squeezer. It's got a lot of, all the blues are inputs. That's a redstone signal. That's an output. That's an output. Alrighty. We can click on here. And uh, the reason we wanted this was to get the, uh, the coal um, HDP or something like that. Let's see. What can we throw in this? If we have crushed coal... And we threw it in here with like eight of it, right? No, <laughs> I could be, I'm completely off. Let's go look in the in the quest book. That might be easier. I did upgrade the pack. I hate upgrading the pack because all the quests get screwed up as to what you've completed and what you haven't. So you have to go through and fix it every time in the admin mode. Um, here's what we want, HOP graphite. So HOP, I've never made this stuff before, I don't believe. The graphite is made, no, no, this one, is made in the industrial squeezer. Eight of coke dust, doesn't look like it takes any liquid or anything, just some power and eight coke dust. So let's go get some coke dust. Uh, I've got power, I can give it right here. Go up, where's your power input? That looks big power. Okay, you have power now? Yes, you do, sweet. Um, don't I have a wireless thing? Where is my wireless thing? <laughs> oh, it's probably in this guy. I'm like, why am I going up there when I can just... Uh... No, I have no idea where my wireless guy is. Eh, put him somewhere. So, he wanted coke dust? Coke dust, which comes from coal coke in a crusher. Is that the only way to get this? Well, that's a bummer. Looks like we're making the crusher too. Okay. <laughs> Give me one sec to get all the ingredients, guys. Okay, we're back. We got everything for the crusher. I wasn't planning on making the crusher today, but I guess we're gonna have to. That was a bad placement there. It's okay. It's an easy block to make. It's mostly all just light engineering blocks here. Um, let's see, one's there, and we've got uh, scaffolding going all the way around it. I don't know why it's visually glitching every time I move. Um, hoppers. All like that. Okay, I think the redstone is in this corner, and that's there. And so this last one probably goes here. And now it's always a challenge to find out where you hit it. Usually it tells you. Uh, um, let's see. Yeah, it looks like we made it right. Um, placed block is, oh, let's see. Formed by right clicking the central block of the front. <laughs> the central block of the front. This probably, okay. Where did my, no, central block. There it goes, okay, cool. So this guy needs power as well. I'm just gonna be lazy and uh, use another flux point. <laughs> Where is your power? Right there. Okay. So that should get going. Now we need to give this guy an output and then we're gonna put cold coke in there. This ghast is pissing me off. Do we not have any coke? Oh, goodness. <laughs> oh. 
Okay, well, we got plenty of coal. There, 64 coal. You happy? Oh, those have, that's been moved downstairs. Maybe we have some in here, actually. Hopefully? No. Awesome. Okay, well, oh, we do have some. Yay, okay, good. <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead, oh, we need a, an output chest. Or this is just gonna go flying everywhere. Some kind of chest here. I think there's like multiple gas out here. What the heck are they doing? Where are you? Where are you? You're being so noisy. Most of the time they just despawn after a while, but these ones are just super crazy. Are you invisible? Oh, well, there you are. Goodness. And what's going on over here? There's like explosions going off. I don't know what that thing is. Okay, I think we took care of the ghast. <sighs> Can make, go back to making a video in peace. Okay. Where's home? Let's get this rolling then. And hopefully we get the HTP, H, HOP graphite. So you're going to go in there, and up on top here, we just go ahead and throw all that in there. Okay, we're going to need a full eight of it to put in the squeezer. Shouldn't take too long. A little noisy. Can we turn volume down here? Do, 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 do. Oh, where's volume? Music and sounds. Seven and eight. And that goes in here. Are you going to squeeze it? Looks like he is. And that made us one graphite dust. Is that what we need or we need more? No, nope, we do. Okay, now we need to turn it into an ingot. And that is right there. And that's just smelting? Why do they really need us to make an ingot then? <laughs> that's like... Prove you have a smelter of some sort. Where, where I, I do, it's somewhere. Oh yeah, I got the mega smelter. Let's see if it works in here. Come on. And done. Complete quest. There we go. Cool. Uh, is that used for anything? <laughs> do you have any use at all? Can turn into a graphite electrode. And what's that used for? That's for making fluorescent tubes. And what are those used for? Lights, apparently? Okay, that seemed like a, a long process just for a light, so there must be another another purpose to that. Loot chests are keeping in in here because I hate them. They're they're worthless. But we've got all this junk to put away now. Oops. Oh no. Bag, where are ya? Please don't have deleted my bag. You're somewhere around here, right? There she is. Whew! Just had to sink again with the server to get her back. I've got so much stuff to put in here. Okay. Next quest that we want to do is, as I promised, get into Overpowered. If we look in here... Oh, this is the Neutron Controller. Did I put all this stuff in there? Oh, yeah, I did. <laughs> I was like, where did that stuff come from? Yeah, I remember. <laughs> it's been a while, but yeah, I went ahead and put all that in there. And that makes our Neutron Collector, which I think is just a quest that we had to make this. Um, and now we're just going to put this down, I believe, and it collects Neutrons? Yeah, Neutron Collector, there we go. 1.5. Uh, we might want to place it somewhere where it can import into our network, though. So let's move it real quick. And we've got a, a nice spot over here. 
And we could grab it because I think we got plenty of um, import buses. Or we could just do it here. Yeah, how about that? Let's get a, an item duct here to suck out of that. Normal item duct's fine. Normal servo, well, hardened servo, because that's all we got. Should be good to pull those out. Now, those are going to be used for a lot of other endgame items, so we just wanted to start this crafting so that we can uh, actually get it going here. I don't want to get a wrench out and not let it touch uh, that or that. Perfect. Redstone, go. Okay. Not a quick process. We probably want to make more of these to get these faster. Um, but if we look at Neutron, I think we're going to get... Uh, I don't know. Nope. Neutron Collector. Doesn't have a use. I think it gives these piles of Neutrons only. I'm going to have to turn nine of those into a neutronium nugget and nine more of those into a neutronium ingot and those into a neutronium block. <laughs> but look, that's all, yeah, all this stuff takes neutronium ingots. Oh, and then the affinity catalyst takes one of each of those too. Wow, okay. We got a lot to do if we're gonna get to the end of this. Did that open up anything back in uh, Overpowered? Whoa, we opened up a lot, so. That's the Neutron Collector. It says, oh, three piles of Neutrons to start out with. Sure. Less than I have to collect. Um, and we've got the Compressor, the Ingot, and the Skullfire Sword still to do. I think we can do the Skullfire Sword. Let's look. Skullfire. Ugh. Let me turn this back on to Integrated here. Oh, goodness. Skullfire Sword beheads skeletons and scorches them black. Does that mean it turns them into, um, you kill a skeleton and it'll give you a, a nether skeleton head or wither skeleton head? I think so. So this is actually pretty easy. With nether star, some wood, some bones, some blaze powder, and then crystal matrix ingots. So let's see if we can get that. So another star, where have I been putting those? I think they're just in the system. So there's our another star. We need some wood. We need some blaze. That was five enough. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, of course it's not enough. So I'll have to take down a few of those. I oh, wanted some bones. And then we wanted some of the ingots. Crystal matrix. And how many of those do we need? We need 10. So we'll need 40 diamond lattice. I think we got plenty of diamonds. Hopefully we have enough uh, nether stars. We did, cool, nice. So let's see, we wanna grind down these guys. Oh, we just made a grinder, might as well use it, right? <laughs> and we can turn these guys in here too. What did you make? A sulfur dust. Okay, don't need it. I'm gonna leave it in there. And we'll head to our super duper crafting table of awesomeness and make our skull fire sword. Nice. I don't know why you would need that once you get to this point, because you've already killed the wither so many times, but oh well, it does seven attack damage. I do 18.7. Sure, you can go in here. <laughs> what is that unlock? Or what quest reward does it give me? Uh, two loot chests, three loot chests, or five loot chests? <laughs> I don't know, I'll take five. I don't know. 
I'm not going to open them anyway. I hate them. There's nothing good ever came from them. Except for like the first day we played the pack. Okay, so those went pretty easily. Uh, and we unlocked this other helmet thing. Inf oh, it's all the infinity armor. Okay, let's let's see what we're, you know, end game going towards. Because <laughs> this is going to take each of these. We'll take infinity ingots and infinity catalyst, which take a ton of crap like this and neutronium. Wow. I'm going to have to just, like put this on a server and leave it running for years. Oh, well. Let's uh, let's skip past that one. <laughs> uh, neutronium compressor. Is there anything we need to do that for that, or can we do for that? I could even see it in this list. That one there. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that needs a lot of neutronium. I don't even know what this does. Well, maybe this is what makes your singularities. Oh, yep, that's what it is. We need singularities. So we need. 30,000 blocks of iron to make one iron singularity? What? <laughs> okay, sure, yeah, I I plan to do that, not. Um, okay. Uh, we're going to hold off on uh, dragon stuff here, whatever that is. Uh, they did reorganize the seeds, so um, they're, they're more correct with their tiers. Um, so if we get these, uh, the Lapis Lazuli Seed and the Experience Seed, we probably can do that. I'm gonna need my guy to go in there. This is producing like a charm. I think we could probably produce like a thousand heart of stars if we wanted right now. Just with the three tier threes. Okay, so I'm gonna need all of those crafting seeds. We haven't even used the, the upper tier of cloches yet. Maybe we'll have to if we need 30,000 iron blocks, my goodness. Okay, what were we making? We were making a lapis seed. Where are you, lapis seed? Lapis lily seeds need supremium and tier 4 crafting seeds. Got one of those. Got one of those. And there's a lapis seed. Okay, and then we need an experience seed. That takes blue as well. And hopefully have the experience chunks. Yes, we do, nice. Should complete that quest. And we can look at the, uh, claim that, look at the next one, tier five, Inferium. Blaze, Fluix, and Eulorium. Don't we already have a Fluix seed? Yeah, we've been making these for forever. Okay, so we can... Uh, that's one thing about resetting the pack is even if you've completed part of it and not all of it, everything's erased. So I know we've done the Fluix seed and the Infernium, so we just need the Blaze and the Eulorium. Have we done a Eulorium? No, it doesn't look like it. Yeah. We can do that. I'm gonna make uh, four. Let's just upgrade them all. We don't need any more tier two. Oops, I need blue ones first. Blue, there we go. And we'll just get three of those for now. Okay, there's our Eulorium. And, okay, blaze seed. That will take these, which need blaze chunks, which I don't think we have. Blaze chunks we can get from a tier 5 mob chunk and blaze rods. How many of those do we have? Let's just look up chunks. We've got tier 1 mob chunks. Can we just upgrade them like this? Yeah. 1, 2, 3, 4... Four, two, three, four. Okay. So back to blaze. Blaze chunks. There we go. And a blaze seed. Cool. 
So if I'm not mistaken, that does complete this quest. So we'll just manually edit it if we look at it. Oops. I'm going to go back here, shift over that. Oh, and it doesn't show you the, uh, the ID number on, sh on shift. Wonderful. Okay, so instead of that, we'll do bq underscore admin edit true. That didn't work. BG. Oh, I meant BQ. <laughs> there we go. And now we should be able to go and edit this and say tasks. Hmm. I think we need to go into edit here. And this is in. What is this in? <laughs> Master uh, crops down there. And we go to designer, and then we say complete this quest. Cool. And now I can turn this to false again. So what you got to do when you update the pack, right? And then last one, the tier six. We've done the crafting seed. We've done the nether star seed. We've done the dragon age seed. Awaken draconium seed. I don't think we, I think we need Awakened Draconium to make that, right? Yeah, so we can't get there for now. Because we need a block of it, there we go. The block is made in fusion crafting. Yeah, that'll be a while. So we'll go ahead and come back in here and plant these seeds somewhere, if we have room. Here's a good spot. You can have experience, you can have Eulorium. I had these kind of organized before, but now I'm just putting them wherever. <laughs> and we'll have to watch our uh, input chest here because it's going to fill up with a bunch of junk because it doesn't have any place to go. Not yet. Oh, it's probably going to go into the ME system. Um, since Lorium experience. That can go here. That can go here. Okay. So there might have been a little bit that escaped into... Uh, the world, I should be able to just take it out and put it back in. There's a lapis and there's a blaze. Lapis can go by the redstone, blaze can go by the skeleton. There we go. Perfect, I think we're good. Okay, keep on moving along. Let's look in this. Cruxes, we've done everything but the awakened draconium crux. Tinkering table, should we do a tinkering table? What does this stuff take? Soul stone and different uh, stuff. Is is it better to have a higher level tinkering? So we should probably just make insanium, right? What do we have as far as uh, ingots from this mod? Doesn't look like anything. <laughs> so we're gonna need to start with a. Uh, Infernium, maybe? No, we don't even have a base. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six, maybe? I don't know. Let's we'll do six even if we don't need it. Oh, come on, I said all of them. Orange. Blue. Oops. This one. Red. Can we get up to Insanium? Let's see if that's enough. Insanium tinkering, oh yeah. <laughs> I don't know if it's any better to make it that way, but it looks cooler, so. Put that down right there, and we tinker. Maybe it gives us more slots. But now we can uh, increase our our tools if we make them out of here do we have any tools made out of this stuff not really we've made all tinker tools but so like this can gives it durability and limited strength a, a buff you get a strength buff when you do this strength two 
Miner's Vision. That's interesting. Miner AoE. Yeah, so there's different different charms you can put on these. Triple Shot's kind of cool. Reaping, Scything AoE. Absorption on, on armor would be pretty cool. What is the armor we're wearing right now? The Manilian. We could upgrade to, like, Insanium Armor, maybe at some point. But I think that's good. We got the credit for the quest. No, we didn't. It wanted us to make the crappy one. <laughs> Dang it. <sighs> oh, is it going to go through and, like, have all of them there? Let's see. We can check really easy. No, it just wants us to make one. So we'll go to quests, mystical crops, edit, designer, check mark, done. Okay. We will take a loot chest and throw it in. Not in there, in there. And that didn't, oh, that did open up. Now that makes, wants us to make these charms. So night vision, wither resistance, fire resistance, and just resistance. So fire resist charm. Why don't I see it? Is that it? Looks like I have to make the base level charm here. What's that in the middle? Block of superium. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. We're out of magma creams. Uh, fire resist. That's one. Wither resist. Two. Um, just plain resist, right? Blue apples. How oh, I've taken apples the whole way through here. I don't even have any apples in the system. I do have a lot of apples though. These make a really good food source if you don't like powdered donuts. To upgrade these apples. Uh, use, click, put in there, shift click. Use, click, put in there, shift click. Use, sharp. Okay, that's three of them. The last one is night vision. We have golden carrots for that. Okay, that was a pretty easy quest. Please ding. Yay! Credit. You claim done. Go. Okay. The ultimate smelting. Why didn't we make that before? Is there something we're missing for that? Ultimate smelting. Ah. Okay. Apparently we had that one done the whole time. Maybe we should put that down somewhere. It's there if we need it. And you know what? I did read that there's a higher chance of getting legendary in epic bags in the latest updates. Um, the Solium dagger. What did we not finish? Actually making the dagger? Do we have any Solium at the end here? Yes, we did. So I'll take a dagger. We need to make this little rod thing. There we go. Done. Claim. Back. Okay. Now I want to start with the, uh, oh wait. Is this just the Paxil or does it want more? Infernium Sword and Paxil. Okay. Infernium Sword. Oh, we're going to need probably a bunch of these. Oh, come on. What are you? We need a bunch of these too. Oops. Infirm tool core. Okay, so I guess the 
this one can have maybe one bonus on it installed. I don't know. And the Paxil. Where's the Paxil? I know you're somewhere. Why can I? There it is. Oh, I need to make all these too. Holy crap. Okay, there's three of those. A bunch of these. It's not enough. Oh, come on. I need auto crafting of this stuff. And now we're out of prosperity. Wonderful. Wow. That prosperity did not last very long. There's our pick. Yeah, we, we never really found a good way to get Prosperity Ore, did we? We just went to the nether and got a ton of it and then uh, hope it would last long enough. And obviously it did not, so we'll have to hold on to that one until we figure out a better way to get it. I have an, a few ideas, but not quite sure yet. All right, so we could go back into Embers. We could go back into uh, Astral Sorcery, Applied Energistics. Let's do RF Tools. I think we could get some of these done. Um, so what's, how about traveling to get the dialing device, transmitter, receiver, and porter. So dialing. All these should be really easy to craft. I swear I kicked that, put that torch twice. All right, dialing device. Matter receive oh, matter. There we go. Transmitter. We're out of uh, machine frames. Transmitter, receiver, and porter. Okay. Quest done. Oh, advanced charged porter. It's not too hard, it's just a couple more diamonds. And a bunch more redstone. I think that one could have more multiple destinations is why it's an advanced one. Okay, that was pretty easy. Let's look at the destination analyzer and matter booster. You can use the pipe character to do an ore, combine them together. Destination Analyzer, easy. Matter Booster, all these redstone blocks. Okay. Get out of my inventory, stupid loot chests. Next off, we'll, we'll use some of these right at <laughs> one point. Uh, that, looks, that looks fun. How about a shield projector and a shield template? Another redstone torch. Always, always, always. Shield projector and a template. What are you? Wool? I'm actually getting really low on wool. But I think I have plenty of uh, stuff to make it. Oops, I guess I need two more. Okay, done, easy. Going around, let's look for the powered, b oh goodness. <laughs> uh, the transmitter, the wire, and the timer. Oops, wire, timer. There they are, timer. I'm just gonna make like a freaking stack of torches because I hate making more of them. Timer, transmitter. Redstone block. Cut and wire. Is that all you wanted? That's all he wanted. Well, now I've got those if we need them. And then, oh, this is this thing, the, the 
This is the machine that could create crazy RF if you spend enough time fixing it up and putting it in the right place. But endergenic generators. I have never built one of these. Let me know in the comments if you want me to. I would just be following a tutorial, I can admit to that, but we can see how they uh, how they perform. We'd have to find a good source of uh, ender pearls. I think I think we can grow them. Okay, two pearl injectors and a monitor. course not. Look at the quests we're passing off today, guys. Just flying through them. Leaving all the ones we don't want to do for the end. <laughs> oh, this is so you can move block, like entire areas through the system. Um, pumping, a shape card pump, and a clearing pump. I can do those, right? No, not even close. We need buckets. Lots of buckets. Let's see, we'll fill one with lava, one with water. Can't believe we still have that lava gen going there. But I think we have fire and water essence. I could just make them in my crafting table. Oh well. Oh well, oh well, oh well. Probably help if we have one of those. Oh, we're missing bricks. Are you serious? And now, no. no. <laughs> I just need one brick. Thank you. Okay, shape card made. So there's our shape card pump, and that's gonna take credit, yeah. So now we can turn it into a clearing pump, which gets rid of liquid in the world. It's a pretty nice thing to have. Get rid of lava, or if you've got water all over the base, if you wanna make an underground water area, it's really nice. And then the quarry, we did a few of these, didn't we? I thought we did. Okay, I'm not going to worry about that one right now until I figure out which ones I made. And then we'll make the rest. So I think that's it for RF. Let's do, uh, oh, we were going to do environmental. We got time to start on this. Let's look at lithorite. So lithorite is, crystals, is made in this method. We need lots of green dye and lots of lime dye. Okay, and then we can start mining it later. But let's get some green and lime dye. Oh, you saved two in there to make more. Got plenty of dye to make quite a few of these, I think. Maybe not, maybe not enough. Actually, probably not nowhere close to enough. <laughs> that gives us 64 and four. So we've got 68 of these. Now we take, does that give crest quite it? No, it needs an assembler as well. That is two obsidian and a crystal. Oops, uses, assembler. All right, the assembler gets, shows you how to build the multi-blocks that are involved in uh, environmental tech. So it's a pretty nice block there, or nice tool to have. I claimed it, didn't I? Oh my goodness, look at all the stuff it wants us to make. Erodium, coronite, palladium, ionite, athium. Not sure how you get all those, we'll see. Let's write block we get from an altar in Botania. There's all these modifiers that we can put on our um, stuff. And we need the nanobots, the solar array, the lunar array, the void R miner, the void resource miner. That says VOD. And the lithrite panel. Let's start with the block, maybe. 
So lithorite itself is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine lithorite crystals on a runic altar. Do I still have the altar working? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We're gonna need a block of this and our wand. That was quick. Okay, so not gonna be the easiest thing if we need more, since especially we don't have a ton of mana. Um, but yeah, that's that's the lithorite block. And that is used to make what? Use. Obviously, nothing. <laughs> okay, so the Void Resource Miner has four of those. Uh, it looks like everything has four of those. Wow. Yeah, we're going to make need a lot of Lithrite. Uh, we can turn Lithrite into Interconnects. Okay, and Interconnects are used. Oh, and these as well. Okay. Wow. <laughs> and then you turn those into null modifiers, which are also used in a bunch of these. Man, okay, well, this this pack's getting difficult quick quickly. We don't we just kind of have the base, you know, a base base yeah <laughs> the minimum required to get all this stuff but now we're gonna have to start producing it in bulk uh, to get a lot of this stuff done let's look at some of this so like erodium chironite is that all craftable is that something i've got to mine no i've got to start mining it up okay so that's just a rare drop we can influence it to make it better it looks like only a clear one has any uh, chance of getting that according to that so we'll have to get that, that miner going for sure. So you get all those and then, yeah, all those. Wow, okay. Alrighty guys, well, that's gonna do it. I think we're just, we've been stuck in crafting mode. Let me know if you wanna continue the series. I'm, I'm still enjoying it, but I'm not sure if you guys are. Um, views are dropping off a little bit and I'm just doing a lot of crafting and not as many just builds. Um, so maybe what I could do is like, just go through and craft everything that I need for a build and then show it off. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, interested in your feedback uh, and your comments as always. So if you guys like the episode, hit the like button. If you want to see more, subscribe to my channel. We'll see you guys next time. Catch you later. Bye.